hungry. I'm famished myself. No rubbernecking. Make a buy or move on. Arthur today? Now that you're all high society, you gonna start shitting gold too? Are you kidding? I'll eat my big cartridges before I waste them on shit like that. We stick together after all this? I'll hold you to that. I just might. Someone's gotta watch your ass. Hey, 
Keep walking, Rung Leech. Some crew members are causing a disturbance. Dead center. Next round's on you. Shh, the captain's coming. Put your gun away. Act casual. Oh, uh, um, yes. This'll about do. That's a mighty clean weapon. Yep. Ain't no call for a closer inspection by anybody. Hey, Cap. Something on your mind? The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Well, well, Dr. Fenhill. It's not often I see you on this side of sick bay. I make it a point not to get shot, and when I do, I can usually take care of the mess myself. It'd be nice to have you in here patching people up, not just blowing them apart. I respect what you're doing here, but you know I'm not ready to settle down. It's not you, it's me. Have it your way, then. You always do. Now, about your friend here. Were I a gambling woman, I'd wager you're responsible for my mechanical safe return. I can't thank you enough.
I am pleased to inform you that we have arrived at the labyrinth. Please be advised that the punishment for trespassing is execution. Please be advised that electrical storms on the surface of Tartarus make departure impossible at this time. Resident count is as follows. 3,071. Resident deaths, including but not limited to executions, are as follows. 1,684. Resident escapes are as follows. Zero. The interior can be chilly. Take a scarf with you, Captain. I would also ask that you leave your Captain's ID with me, in the event that you do not return. I can make the assurance that I will not leave with another Captain unless you do not return within 876,541,652 hours. Oh, speak of the devil. Captain, I am receiving a transmission from the prison's docking authority now. Attention, unauthorized spacecraft. This is a maximum security installation. Your presence here is an explicit violation of UDL corporate policy. You are hereby confined to your docking platform until a ticket detailing your crimes has been filed and notarized, at which point your vessel will be seized and you will be executed. Your ship is not permitted to leave until you remit payment for your fines and submit yourself to execution. Only after your smoking corpse is thrown from an airlock will we lift the lockdown on your spacecraft. Captain, I would not recommend this course of action. We're on lockdown. We have standing orders to shoot intruders on sight. Tartarus Docking Authority signing up. Hang on. Looks like you're gonna have company at the execution. Another ship just pulled into your dock. Wait, is that from the Groundbreaker? What the? Pay no mind to that. Just have a pleasant day. Transmission terminated. How can I be of assistance? Certainly, Captain. What would you like to hear? Why are obtuse angles so depressed? Because they are never right. Now playing a Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's Choice. My pleasure. As you wish. I'll be
to leave us a few options. Now it's our turn. The board will never 
your own groundbreaker, not while I breathe. Push on, my dad. No, I missed it. Don't jump on walking into a prison. They lock me up. I'm liable to kill everyone trying to get back out. Cover! walking into a prison. They lock me up. I'm liable to kill everyone trying to get back out. Nice of 
them to leave us a few options. Take a hint.
Look who it is. I'll be damned. I was prepping the studio for our announcement, and here you are as a bonus. Ah, oh, and the wayward doctor. Are you about done with your escapades? We have faces that need lifting, after all. These days, I'm more interested in breaking them. Wouldn't mind taking a swing at yours. Ah, oh, I knew I smelled Monarch when you lot walked in. The stench of sulfur, depression, and desperate bravado is unmistakable. Keep talking, and you'll be smelling iron. Ain't nobody so important I won't put a bullet in. When you go off and get yourself shot, try to avoid taking one to the face. I'll want it recognizable to show to my citizens. Haven't you heard? Phineas is working for us now. It took some doing, but employing an efficient management strategy of putting our guns to his head seems to have done the trick. Oh, the look on your face. Fantastic. No, he isn't quite there yet. A bit more torture will help, I think. But that's between us. As far as my adoring citizens will know, we've turned a dangerous crackpot into a working class man. It's a miracle. Oh yes, go on, wake them up, add more mouths to feed. That'll solve our starvation problems. I don't know what half-baked plans that simpleton in a lab coat has been leading you through, but it's done. It's over. Let me ask you something, Captain. Have you at any point thought about not fucking up our entire society? At least that means someone's recognizing our work. I'm making actual progress towards stabilization and recovery. You're just getting in the way.
If I and my people can ride it out in luxury and happiness, yes, yes, I would. I don't know if you've noticed, Captain, but Halcyon's pretty much a lost cause. You... you have? Is that what you were doing at the Ministry? Look, I'm not an unreasonable man. If you manage to storm the castle, as it were, and make it out of here with Phineas alive... Uh, I can't exactly afford more havoc than you've already caused. Fine. If you survive, you'll need someone to sell the rest of the board on your plan. I've got work to do. Captain, you have an uncanny talent for complicating my life. You've disrupted the balance of power. You've upset the natural order of things. You've introduced uncertainty, and there is nothing I despise more than uncertainty. Typical. Running your mouth in the middle of a crisis. It's almost as if you delight in chaos. The force of your personality is well documented. I simply never imagined you could turn the system upside down through charisma alone. I should have dealt with you a long time ago. You were always too dangerous to leave unchecked. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised by your impertinence. Leaving you alive was my greatest mistake. But it is a mistake I intend to correct. I have Dr. Wells in my custody. Once I've secured his cooperation, I can move forward with the program. I can repair the damage you've done. I can set things right. Well, that's mostly correct. You're not leaving here at all. I take no pleasure in this, you know. I simply have no other option. Leaving you alive is too great a risk. Goodbye, Captain. Fair enough. I'm giving you exactly one chance to parlay with me. Anyone with eyes can see that you're talented, Captain. I only wish you'd used your talents for good. You wander the system, doing as you please, answering to no one. Your mere existence throws Halcyon into chaos. 
I simply can't have that. The board is the only power left at Halcyon. We're the only ones keeping this colony from dissolving into ruin. You had so much potential. I would have put your talents to good use. I would have made you wealthy beyond belief. I still can't believe you skipped the hope to Terra too. What an absolutely reckless thing to do. You put the future of this entire colony in jeopardy. You were always an unknown variable. I tried to recruit you, but you threw your lot in with that madman, Phineas Wells. Rockwell said that. Chairman Rockwell? <laughs> That's absurd. You're lying. This is another one of your tricks. I've been the chairman's most reliable associate. Sophie? That insufferable, arrogant twit. After all I've done for him! I have given the chairman nothing less than a lifetime of loyal, honorable service. And this is how he repays me. By leaving me twisting in the wind. Enough. I'm not going to stand here bickering with you. I was expecting the chairman's support. But I'll have to do without. I haven't given up on the program yet. You've caused some complications, but I can improvise. I can fix this. I haven't lost control of the labyrinth yet. Our security system is still operational. I can still put a stop to you. What? You can't be serious. That is a remarkably excruciating and creative way to kill someone. I didn't know you had it in you. Congratulations, Captain. You've outplayed me. I accept your terms and will return Dr. Wells to your care. We won't cross orbits again. You have my word on that. The fate of the colony is in your hands now. I bid you farewell, Captain. You don't know how glad I am to see you. You must have said something to get under Akande's skin. She's gone, and I don't think she's coming back. And you, you lunatic, you broke into the board's own fortress just to rescue one doddering old man. You are absolutely out of your mind, and I can't begin to thank you enough. Ah! All in a day's work for you, huh? You've broken the board's stranglehold on this colony, and you saved my life. But there's still so much we have yet to accomplish. You and I are going to have to work harder than ever to save Halcyon. I'm afraid the situation is far worse than any of us ever anticipated. I would like nothing more than to celebrate this victory, but we have a serious problem on our hands. Earth has gone dark. We haven't received a single message in three years. There's been no communication, no signals, nothing. Two years ago, the Earth's Directorate's frigate disappeared on their way back to Earth. We don't know what they discovered when they arrived, or if they arrived at all. They haven't exactly been hands-on around here anyway. So there's one less rubber stamp to worry about. Earth is humanity's home planet, Miss Fenhill. The psychological effects of losing our original home will be devastating. So we've got to make do on our own. Seems to me that'll make us stronger in the end anyhow. 
You're quite right. We've got no choice but to make do on our own. We're in serious trouble, my friend. Do you know what this means for Halcyon? We can't rely on Earth for support anymore. We've been cut loose. We're entirely on our own. Yes, yes, certainly. I'll help however I can. I don't know what happened, but something must have gone horribly wrong. I don't know why Earth's gone silent. I don't even know if Earth exists anymore. We have no connection back to Earth, and return is likely impossible. We're completely alone out here. You might have heard of the Earth Directorate's frigate. Half the colony's entire military was on that ship. They were returning to Earth when they vanished without a trace. That was two years ago. We haven't heard a word from them since. Whatever happened to Earth likely happened to them. I wasn't trying to hide the truth from you, but after all you've done, I owe you an explanation. Yes, I experimented on the Hope's colonists. Each of my experiments ended in catastrophic failure. Each of my subjects died in agony. You are my first and only success. I didn't tell you about the others because I didn't want to burden you. <laughs> 